Hey guys, in this video I am going to be talking about an issue with the Samsung Galaxy S4 i9-505 not being able to detect 4G LTE networks. I have a device which has been sourced from Hong Kong here and I am currently in Australia. The issue that I am having is that the device has no 4G LTE network mode which I am about to show you. Now if we go to the settings menu and the about device section you can see that this is the GT i9-505, not the i9-500 running Android 4.2.2. Now if we go back to the connections tab, more networks, mobile networks and network mode, you will see that there is no 4G LTE option. There is only WCDMA only, GSM only and GSM WCDMA auto connect. Uh, my theory as to why this is happening is that the Hong Kong ROM is not recognising 4G networks in Australia and is therefore not um, showing the 4G LTE um, network mode option. Um, I think that this is a bit silly. I think that it should always be available there even if the device cannot detect the 4G network. Um, so yeah, in this situation, um, this is happening with a device sourced from Hong Kong in Australia. Um, that this could happen in a number of different scenarios. It could happen, you know, with a Hong Kong device, um, you know, in the UK, etc. This is just my specific example. So I am going to show you how to fix this, and it is pretty simple. In my case, as I am in Australia, I tried flashing the device with the Australian ROM, which um, fixed the issue. If you were in the UK, you could try the same ROM that I'm using, or you might want to try the UK ROM. It um, might require a little bit of trial and error, um, flashing a few different ROMs to see whether or not the 4G option will come up. Though so I'm just basically going to show you now what has worked for me. So you are going to need to download two files. Um, I am going to put a link to some instructions that I wrote up in the description below. But you, you are basically going to need to download Odin 3.07 and you are going to need to download the ROM as well. So I have got Odin 3.07 here as well as the Australian XSA unbranded firmware for the Galaxy S4 i9-505. So what I need to do now is I need to open up Odin, Odin 3 version 3.07. You will need to run this on an account as an administrator. And once you have opened this app, you are going to need to go to the device and you're going to need to turn it off. And you are going to need to connect it to a USB cable which is plugged into a computer. Once the device is turned off and you see the picture of the battery, you're going to need to hold down three buttons at the same time. You are going to hold down volume down, the home button and the power button simultaneously. So you're going to need to hold down volume down plus home plus power until you get this screen about flashing a custom OS, it's going to be a warning screen and you're going to need to click the volume up button to accept the warning and after you accept the warning you are basically going to get a picture of an Android with downloading underneath it and the message telling you not to turn the mobile off. Now if, um, all, if the device's drivers are installed correctly you are going to see at least one um, blue ID COM port here um, if this port does not turn blue, then that means that um, you haven't got the relevant drivers installed on your computer and I recommend that you um, install Samsung Kai's if that is the case as that usually installs all of the um, required drivers as well. So now that I have done that, I need to navigate to the downloaded um, firmware file. Now I will show you what the firmware file looks like. It basically ends in .tar.md5. So that's the XSA firmware, um, which is basically the Australian unbranded firmware, which is going to be in the link that I'm going to provide you. So I basically need to navigate to that um, in Odin. So in Odin, once you open the program, once you see that the device is recognized by at least one blue um, ID COM port here, you need to click on the PDA button. And then you need to navigate to the firmware ending in .tar.md5, which I have here. And then it's simply a case of clicking on the start button. 
Now, it, uh, it is not unusual for Odin to um, stop responding. If it stops responding, just don't touch the computer, just let it do its thing. Um, you know, I have a pretty um, decent computer, though it happens, no matter what you know type of computer you run it on, leave it um, for a couple of minutes and it will just go about doing its own thing. And um, once it starts responding again, you will see a few different messages appear down here, basically telling you what it is um, flashing onto the device. Okay, so the mm. device has now finished flashing and the blue reset um, message there basically just means that the device is restarting. It will take um, a couple of minutes for, for the device to boot back into Android, so it's normal to see this screen. Mm. And it's just rebooted itself a second time. Now it is basically just updating a few um, different Android files. And now as I have um, flashed an Australian ROM, it's just in um, installing a couple of bloatware applications. A little annoying, um, I'm not sure whether or not it's possible to remove these two in particular. I haven't tried it yet. So now we should have the new ROM flashed on the device and we can go back to the settings menu. More networks. Mobile networks. Network mode. And as you can see, there is now a new network mode option. The top option is LTE GSM WCDMA, which is what I'm currently um, on now. Um, I'm not currently in a 4G um, area, though that will definitely work. Um, I have already done this before. Um, though, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it, really. Um, if you receive an i9-505 with no LTE option, um, I highly recommend that you try flashing the device with a ROM from a different region. Probably best to try the ROM from the region that you are from. And the LTE option should appear. Um, if you have any questions, then feel free to ask me. Once again, the link to the guide will be in the description below. Uh, please like this video if it was of any help and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And thanks for watching.